Erlens Fernandez is a computer science professor at UC San Diego. He's also a cycling geek. He commutes to work on his bike and he rides for recreation. Um, I don't race myself at all. I, I, you know, I mostly get into it because it's, it's an incredibly calming experience. He also follows professional cycling, though he knows it has a problem. The problem with professional cycling is the corruption and the cheating. Performance-enhancing drugs have been a problem for decades, and that's not the only way you could cheat. Here's another, hacking into somebody's wireless shifter. You press a button on your shifters, you know, for example, right here, you press a button right here, and then that sends a wireless signal to the gear shifter down here, and that changes the position of the chain uh, on the gears. All you need to hack into a shifter is an off-the-shelf device which can capture a wireless signal and send a malicious command. Fernandez and a partner tested it on a local hill. They set up the device on the side of the road and shifted his bike, the red one, into a higher gear, forcing him to slow down. In a full-on race, this can be dangerous. And yes, it's another way to cheat. The leader of the Tour de France is going up a big mountain. And he's going to be in an easy gear because he has to climb the, climb the mountain. And so then if we can shift it from an easy to a hard gear, that's going to significantly slow him down and make him lose time. The solution? So the standard solution is to basically share a secret number between the shifter and the derailleur that only the two, these two devices know. They approach the bike company Shimano with their plan. And so the assumption is that the attacker, you know, someone external to the system, cannot predict what these numbers are. And that is essentially what we recommended to Shimano uh, um, as a solution, as a mitigation. And that's kind of what they ended up uh, integrating into the system. Fernandez didn't win any royalties from Shimano, but he knows he brought a bit more integrity to a sport that he cares about. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.